The simple fact was I could not get enough of God. And when the divine energy came in brief moments between my awful longing, I was radiant to myself. My desire for this indescribable nothingness was as insatiable as it seemed unnatural. For a long time I was literally God-mad. The loneliness, the confusion, the pain of psychological isolation that in my case preceded the realization of immortality was appalling. In such devastating pain of loss there was no way that I could continue. The sense of imminent death, fear, hopelessness and being deserted, as well as the inner emotional spasms, continued for eight weeks. There followed three days of astonishing confusion and uncertainty. I was adrift. I had no will. On the third day, I realized I was dead. And now I was exultant, filled with the joy and knowledge that I was actually one with the life in nature with every living creature and living thing. I was forever as life was. I was at peace. I was in no hurry to do anything or not to do anything. I was choiceless. I was free. Well, one of the great climacterics in my life was the realization of what I call the transcendental I was given the transcendental realization, which in itself I cannot describe except that it transcends the senses and communicates a knowledge which no doubt has been used by the intelligence that has been imparted to me in my teaching. As I've spoken about what woman represented to me, that she represented God to me, I was imbued with a sense that, that I was doing something. Not that I was doing something, but that something was being done in my loving of woman. And not only in the lo my loving of woman, but in my teaching, which was based on the love of woman. So therefore, that became, uh, that became a profound doing uh, in, in the teaching was a profound doing to bring about that which I'd already realized that woman, the female principle, was God. Barry Long, Scenes from an Enlightened Life on vimeo.com